for the next one. Oh, hi there. It's me. Place a the charge on your target and level it. Damn. Hi. hi, Justin. How do you feel about America? Uh, I'll tell you... Uh, in about four months? Day in November. Yeah. Okay. Well, how do you feel about the most uh, American of pastimes, Xbox, Microsoft, Game Pass, PC, Xbox. Whatever they're calling it now. You think this subscription service will last? Like, they really want it to. Uh, well, it's $2 but... more expensive than it was a few months ago. Okay, they really want it to last. Yeah. They're really, really trying to get people to buy it, but it seems like all the people who are going to buy it have bought it. It also seems like subscription services in general are falling out of favor. Yeah. Um. Oh, this normie bullshit. Yeah, why are you yeah. playing, like, Adam Yeah, why don't I... What, you, why are you playing GSC World's finest property? War, Warcraft 2000. Nuclear. Uh, not fun at all. Because I made the mistake of uh, not filtering out search and destroy. Uh, search and destroy sure. is a bad mode. What's, what's your favorite Call of Duty mode? Uh, I, I like Team Deathmatch. I like uh, Domination. <laughs> I like okay, to kill so confirmed. I'll take me, a hard point. So what you're telling me is that you're uh, a Call of Duty player. Yeah, I'm saying the that... Only, well, the only, uh, well, the only uh, modes that exist are Team Deathmatch and Domination. No, I just fucking hate Search and Destroy because it's bootleg... Uh, what is Search and Destroy anyway? It's bootleg other... Counter-Strike. Ah. It, yeah, it's... That mode's been in there since you 4. Um, One life. And I didn't like it in know, 4 either. Oh. Do you like Counter-Strike? I don't. Oh, I but, uh, I do have great news. You what if I told it? you all of my stupid guns from Modern Warfare 2 carried over? Cool. Uh, for the record, I like Counter-Strike. I also didn't like Search and Destroy in Modern Warfare 2. No, it, it's just, it, it's not a... I do not, not think it's a good listen, mode for Call of Duty. You should leave the counter striking to counter strike and Valorant, I guess. Yeah, the kids love the Valorant. Yeah, what's counter strike? Is it like Valorant? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a lot like Valorant. There, it's there is a there is a fourteen year old boy who has said that unironically, and then has looked at counter strike and said, "I don't have any abilities." And I why? And then. Why, and then, and then there is a thirty-six-year-old uh, Russian man who says, "Eat shit, little boy." Why is the AK-47 so much better than? Everyone? Yeah, the There's AWP. A lot of about yeah. Anyway, I do like, I do like uh, headquarters. That's a fun or hard is point. King of the hill? Yeah, headquarters is just King of the Hill. It's like Halo. Some of their own fucking names half the time. Yeah, they're allowed to. They 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 make more money. They make more money. They make more money than God. Have you considered that uh you can now get the car 98k in, in this game? Sure that's really uh really good. I'm sure that's really useful against a bunch of M4s. Hey, I'm using the M16. I'm I'm a Okay, so pretty much the same. Enemy ammo box destroyed. Yeah. There's a gun there. Yeah. If there's a gun there out there. Who would hear that? And just... Also, the other thing I've I've noticed is that, holy shit, they went nuts on the skins, and people sure did buy those skins. That's what sells. That's what 
they make their money on. But even compared to the game from two years ago that I also played a lot of. How old is this one? This is last year's game. Okay. They put it on Game Pass, so I bought a month of Game Pass because I need I need a brain off anxiety free game where I shoot things. So do these do these games just like put you on a I think it's the absence of these zones. Yeah. Which is a good thing. That's why I play for the pet. So I think that that GSC world thing you showed me, that seems like that must have been their attempt at like trying to entreat Blizzard investors or blizzards or yeah. yeah like hey what if we did the science version of this because you know you guys are just take oh you you swear this isn't warhammer okay no it well here's the thing they literally steal mod it's it's literally stealing models from warcraft 2 good uh yeah that video i linked to you um how long ago did this particular GSC Game World game come out? Uh, uh it didn't. Okay. It didn't. It was a bootleg that leaked, that they, they, they just put out there. Um... I'm reloading! Yeah, someone, someone on my team has a car 98k, and that's very funny to me. Worked for his grandfather. Yeah, it worked for Grandpappy. Throwing grenade. I mean, listen, if your grandfather was really a car, I'd be okay. We're securing the headquarters. Mm-hmm. Reloading. Finish the bot. He might. He might have been a. Stone grenade out. I thought the car 98K was Russian. Yeah, I thought it was Russian as well. I, I believe the, the German uh, rifle was the bear. Uh, the Carabiner 98K, this place of origin, is Nazi Germany. Okay. Uh, well, a lot of people's grandfathers were Nazis. Oh, well. Okay. Listen, once again, I'm, I'm going to recount to the audience at home that my uh, great uncle, my, my Oma's brother, uh was a uh, a POW after uh he got caught um making anti-nazi pamphlets nice but um and I guess they put him in a work camp and then the work camp got captured by the Soviets and then he was a POW for years and also my oma also he might have stolen money from my uh great grandfather and uh, so my Oma never Objective. talked about him. Tossing a frag. <laughs> Stone incoming. US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all emigrated over here. Incoming grenade. Clear them out. Stone grenade. Grenade. Brandon, what do you think about military That's men with bad facial hair? Uh, I love, I'm a, I'm a tier one, how do you feel about Tommy Chong? About tier one operators? Is that what you're tier one operator Tommy Chong, yeah. <laughs> because, uh, there's a cheat, because, uh, I've seen a lot of people with those Cheech and Chong skins. I'll say that. Cheech and uh, Chong is very popular with the kids. E so, I'm once sure again, here I'm is, sure here is my, my theory. My theory of Call of Duty skins is that Call of Duty skins are aimed at three demographics of young men. And by young men, I mean men in their 20s, early 20s. I was, was going to say, where's my George Burns? People in their 30s and people in their 40s. Where's my, where's my dumb And nuts? they are very explicitly, uh, well, they're not aimed at people in their 70s, Relgen. Yeah, no, just, just it. Switching mics. Uh, yeah, but stoners, uh, that that stoner. Incoming grenade, stone incoming. 
Yeah, how many steps in Wikipedia it is from the weed symbol? Anyway, I was surprised to learn that uh, at least one of the Cheech and Chong is still alive. I thought they were both still alive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'm pretty sure Cheech and Chong is still alive. I'm I'm happy for them. I hope they got paid for this. I hope they get royalties for every skin sold. But yeah, uh, the weapon skins in this look so fucking dumb. Like, they really went hard. All that Nash Bridges money, he's fine. There were a whole lot of Stone grenade out. That's what kids love, anime and weed. Uh, yeah. Th that's not even untrue. Both, both more popular than they've ever been. Jump to them, end of their day. Watch your fire, I'm on your side. Enemy operator. They're not hitting your men, taking effective fire. So... As far as I can tell, the biggest difference between this game and uh, the game from uh, 2022, which I'm going to say instead of saying Modern Warfare 2, because then people will be like, Oh, you mean the game from 2009? That's a good impression of me. I mean, there's, there would be someone when Mike would show up in chat. And... Five, four, three, two... I I did play a lot of Modern Warfare 2 2009, and this game has a bunch of maps from Modern Warfare 2 2009. Time is a flat circle. Yeah, but also, um... Hey, please praise me. Sorry? No, I'm saying you should praise me for what I, I I just shot that guy in the head and then uh very proud of him. Yeah, thank you. Dropping us I understand. I occasionally got the base and siege. I felt like a god for about five seconds every time that happened. Yeah, and then someone on your team team killed you. Okay, good. So someone on your team team killed you. Uh, fuck me! Fuck the sniper! See, the thing is, the people who play these games, they think they're so fucking cool with their, their fucking, like, slide jumps and whatnot. And it turns out if you just, uh, stand there and do this, they, they, they'll usually die. Because the game aims for you. Headquarters are lined. Secure the enemy inside the perimeter. Clear anyway. Out. <laughs> that was a really good cruise missile. Throwing a stone grenade. I'm trying to get back to the point where I can just sit down and do all of the other biking again. Yeah. Yeah, that game's, uh... I... I never beat it. I was able to reliably get the best ending in only a few deaths at one point. Doesn't the best ending require you to, uh... Pass the Valkyrie, which unfortunately yeah. you can't practice, because you can only skip ahead to later normal version. Nice. So you have to do it all in one, was it yep. one life or one, uh, uh one go. Okay. You get, one you get sitting a number of lives that, uh, yeah, you have to start over from the beginning every time you, <laughs> every time you lose all your lives. Yeah. You get, if you basically, if you're completely maxed out on gear, every once in a while, chest will give you a Valkyrie soul, which unlocks path to Valkyrie. And those are a little number of lives you have at that. that so if you don't ever take damage, you can get double yeah. Pretty quickly. It's one of those things where uh, 
my memory serves me well the first time I enter a place again, like I did the lava place in one attempt. No lives lost or anything. But the second time I came back to it, it was like, oh, I have to relearn this again. Didn't they make a Volgar suit? They're about to. Yeah, it's coming out. I'm very happy. For, for Brad Shoemaker, especially. What did those, uh, those guys do between... I don't know. I would oh, look right. up, I'm currently playing Vlogger the Viking. Here, here's another important thing. Tactical stance. Look, Is I'm holding my bleeding? gun sideways. It's tactical. So I press down on the D-pad. And I can switch between aimed out regular ADS and tactical stance. You mean holding it sideways? Isn't that actually just, like, objectively less accurate? Yes. It's shit. But it's have tactical. A, it's have cool, ever, though. Have you ever fired a rifle? No. BB gun gonna once. A, you're gonna have a bad time shooting a gun I've, like that. I've fired a... I fired an M14 before because I have cousins who are gun nuts. I don't need to fire a gun again. That's fine. I say, as somebody who's never fired a gun, only BB guns. It's fun for about five minutes. Guns are fun. Uh, they're also uh, maybe. Oh, cool! I blew myself up like a fucking idiot. Maybe not a great. Uh... Maybe not great so for society. Maybe yeah, maybe that, the private ownership of of guns. Maybe not the best thing in the world. But also, I'm pretty sure everyone I know IRL owns a gun. So, except me. I mean, my dad owns a gun. That his grandfather, that my grandfather gave him. Yeah, my dad owns an old rifle that's, completely been, that's been disassembled my entire life. Okay, they definitely made the M16, like, half-decent at some point. Because it, it was shit in the last game. That or... Take that, Tommy Chong. Or was that Cheech Marin? I can't believe you don't know them. I, I'm sorry, I don't watch uh, stoner comedies from the 1970s. Or Nash Bridges, or that 70s show. Yeah, I, I don't watch those either. I I haven't seen that 70s show in about... 70 years. You're, te you're telling me that you weren't a big That 90s Show fan. Remember they did that? Yeah, they sure did. Listen, I... Two, I think. Two. Like all, like all Netflix shows, it has to last at least two. Hey, you know what? I think they did their... Or they are going to, I think, finish the Umbrella... Uh, yeah, the Umbrella Academy. Good hey, for them. Yeah. I like what I watched that show. I... Hey. I, and I, I think it's great that... Uh, Elliot Page is... Yeah, the handling of that. In the st game. Still... Uh, Still getting theirs. Yeah, they incorporated it into that third yeah. season, and it's it's handled well in that like some people are just really confused by it. But uh, it's true. Well. Don't know if that has anything to do with whatever the source material for that is. But, uh, I I, I think right. the source material is a uh, yeah Elliot Page, in that case. Um. But no, oh. it, it felt right in the the story. Yeah, it's always see now. Now what you get is some you get some dipshit running around with a melee weapon trying to slide into you. I mean they've been doing that since. I stopped playing yeah, that's what I like to do with uh, the original Modern Warfare with friends who are like just play it for real and I'm just going around stabbing. <laughs> no, I mean Modern Warfare Two had the tack knife and it had uh. Some of the most insane uh, knife lunge ranges. There's a reason why now uh, bespoke melee weapon uh, attack ranges are uh, different. I mean, Halo 2 also had a yeah. melee lunge range. And that oh, you should be watching the Halo 2 speedrun recently if you want to see that put to incredible use. I I'm a big fan of it's it's that outrageous. Specific he does one glitch. in the uh, 
What is it? You know the uh, bit, and I think it's the second level where you actually get under vehicles and you're going on the beach? Yeah. He skips that entire sequence with a few lunges, and it's insane that he did manages to chain them all together. Yeah. Have you ever seen some of the stuff that. If there's a YouTuber named Mint Blitz. Have you ever seen some of the stuff he does? No. You can probably assume no if it's a YouTuber for yeah, he, does, he does. Okay, so there's a YouTuber. His name is, um. Johnny Carson. His last name is Rickles? Don Rickles. I mean, I'm not a talk show person, so my knowledge of Johnny Carson is... Uh, he was apparently a colossal understand. asshole. Surprise! Yeah, that, that makes sense. What's your block? Everyone's just got the... 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 Their takes. The jokes no, I'm it sorry, up. everyone's got the explosive resistant vest. Including me. These games always wind up having a I'm reloading. The mission is complete. There we go. Yeah, the original it was just knives. Yeah. Another is another coming out anytime? Uh, probably. What else does EA have? Uh, Dragon Age 4. Yeah, and Madden. And that college foot. Uh, it's a real game. It's coming out in a few months. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, they have that college football game, which apparently, uh, people. NCAA? Yeah. Yeah. College football's back. How do you feel about the red tide? I I don't. There are so many vests. I'm just gonna pick the one that uh Okay, reduces special grenades. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll bring a claymore. I'm history's greatest monster. Look, it's those maps from the game you liked from 15 years ago. Your dad's favorite Call of Duty maps. <sighs> Jesus Christ, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I got Modern Warfare two, 2009 for my birthday. Day. I bought a game just like a year after it came out. Kiddo, you were conceived oh. during shipment. Uh. <laughs> shipment was a uh, AW1 map. Though. Yeah, the, the similar map in 2 wasn't nearly as dumb. Oh, look, Army Ranger, yeah! Also, uh, here's the other fun thing. I, uh... I went in, uh, to the, to the menu, and I uninstalled both Warzone and the single player. Um... For this game. Sure. Uh, which was you about 30 gigs saved of, you know, the 200 that Call of Duty is now. God. Forty hours in close to at this point. Yeah, I just did the uh, Popo Huara bit with the uh, the uh, corrupted Audra Pillar. Yep. The game is uh, it's really good. It's yeah, really yeah, it is. Uh, I, I need to actually finish it one day. I haven't used any of the com the uh, sidekicks yet. I've been making a point of using everybody. Uh, I've been using a lot of Maya because I know I'm not going to use her going forward. 
There is a... Why? Because she's an imperialist. Uh, no, oh, no, I don't have a... I mean, she's kind of a jerk. I'm fine with that. It's just that I'm a barbarian. I don't need another physical damage dealer. How do you feel about it cutting you down from six party members to five? I didn't even remember the first thing had six. Uh, I think it's good. I think Reloading. it forces you to, uh... Make choices. It also, because... Because it is built around real time with pause, there's less of a cognitive load with your characters and all the abilities they have. Yeah, the first game just has a nice result visually, whereas I feel like this game does a lot better at that, and I think it's a little part of it. I've been using, um, uh, Tekue, or, uh, Tekue? Tekue. Tekehu. Tekehu, thank you. Travis Willingham. Yeah, no, he's. I, I I like him a lot. He also like. I feel like he's maybe the most relevant member to like half that world's stuff. Him and Maya. When but I played also, that game, uh, I never played the druid in the first game because I didn't like that guy. So I've been getting to enjoy druids. Yeah, druids are good. Uh, I, I I played a druid when I played the first game, so I also didn't like that guy much. I just didn't like him. Target down. He was, the, he was the one character from that game I, I actively dislike. He's, he's a smart ass and a weirdo. Speaking of someone who who adored Durant. What is that second? Surprise, cabron! Like Surprise, cabron! Where? The fiery whore. The fiery whore. You know I've met Magra now, and you know what? He... Oh yeah. I, I mean, you meet her. You meet her at the end of uh, the first game too. I don't. Remember. It's it's been a few years. Yeah. Uh, I don't. You don't have to do that, do you? Yeah. You but when you appeal out. to all of the gods, and it turns out, hey, yeah, they they're all they're all pieces of shit. Even like, way. I'm kind of okay with Wall. Yeah. They, they seem the least shitty. They're not good, but. And I'm also kind of okay with Vera. Yeah. Skein seems. But just even like miserable. Highly, uh, um, Andra. Like, even the supposedly good gods are not actually. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, the Andra. The DLC of one makes it clear that Andra's fucking no good. Reloading. When I finished Dark Souls 1, I should have played the first game again and actually finished the second. Dark Souls 2, I mean. You never finished one? I finished one. I never finished two. Oh, okay. Because I always tried to do the thing where I just play both them. And... Changing yeah. mag. Um... But, uh... Yeah, I... You didn't I see just, me coming, did you? Castle 2, I just beat the two Dragon Riders that you have to fight in the castle, so... Oh, yeah, you're, you're getting there. Like, way through that game. You're out. about in a position to start the DLC. Which is the best DLC to do first? Uh, they're all late game. For two. Yeah, they're all late game. I would recommend the, uh, Sunken. I would go Sunken Iron, uh, Frozen. Ivory. Or Ivory. So which one's... Sunken, which one's that? Is that the fiery one, or is that... The no, Sunken Key is, like, the underwater one. It's the uh, temple underneath the earth. Okay, so the poison. I believe the location for that is. I know the ivory, I think, is the one on the way to Drang Lake. And iron is the one after the, the king. I don't remember where the sunken is. I've well, never actually, played wait. the DLC for two, so. Oh, room Tower. I know it's so the good. best. I know it's the best part of the game. But uh, yeah, yeah. Dark Souls Two is long. Yeah, I mean three is also pretty long. One of the one of the. Eh, I felt like three. But three is also pretty linear, and you can sequence like three has built-in sequence breaks in it. Um. You can kill that old lady and immediately get the the boss fight with the twins. 
Oh, with no, uh, the dancer. No, with the dancer. You oh, yeah, with the dancer, dancer. Excuse me. And then you got to go through the, the trek up to the twins, which I don't want to do that at a low level because I'm not any good at it. That'd be a good way to level up quickly, though. Yeah. Sure, but you'd have to do it at a low level. Which I'm sure I could do, but I do not have the patience. I, I, I've never done it either. I'm not good against the dancer. I, I, uh, I got the I Dark the... Wraith Covenant once at, in the first game and felt smart. Yeah, I also did that once. Because yeah. <laughs> you know fight. you can you can beat. Uh, I did go fight the, the dancer once early because my brother was trying to do it for a really hard time, and I was like, I bet I can do that quickly, and I did. I felt pretty good about it. Uh, but did not. I did not. Didn't see me coming, did you? Anyway, yeah, I think one of the major reasons people really dislike Dark Souls 2 sometimes is uh, that game doesn't let you do boss runs anywhere near as easily as the other two. Hard game? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a hard game, but also, like, even if you know how to get to the boss, a lot of times you just have to be patient and methodically progress. I don't think you ever have to do that. Yeah, like I already have 12 out there. I've taken some damage though, so I could probably have 14 at this point. I I respect and applaud your vulgarity. <laughs> apparently, there's an ending B of this game. They, have, they straight up have like the Bloodborne, or Bloodborne has the Vulgar thing, where apparently if you can. Um, you can get to the actual ending of the game having not done all of the Valkyrie stuff, but because you didn't do all the Valkyrie stuff, it means you get to the actual boss of the game and they just instantly kill you. Like the uh, the moon aspect or whatever it was called. You didn't have all the uh, whatever they were that turned into slug. Yeah. But yeah, I've been playing like legitimately like four hours of Pillars to do every day for it's, a while. It's it's, it's great. It, I get back uh, into those games. The, the thing the thing about that game that always strikes me is I don't talk about it much, but I thought it was incredible. I think that game is gorgeous. Yep. yep. Like drawing wise, yeah, but like the effects and lighting. I know it's just showing it across a it's still technically uh, a JPEG background, but man, it's no cool. man, some stuff even like water looks great. I, I just yeah, did the oh, uh, the, the, uh, the water shapers yeah. thing where you discover the dragon underneath the city, uh -huh. yep. and all of he just has like a super powerful version of that spell, which is just like you shoot the wave out. Yeah, and all of that the water stuff looks incredible. They they spent a lot of time on that. Hard point relocating. Yeah. Stand by. Given the nautical I, theme. Uh, Josh Sawyer uh, comes Gets back to make around another. these games. Or yes, wants to make another. Yeah, I hope he won't. Well, it's, uh, what's her name now? Carrie, Carrie Patel was, was uh, the, the co- was like the-, the... She was like the co-lead on Pillars yeah. 2, and now she's, she's the main lead on Avowed. Yeah. Um, and it might be a series that is in her hands from here on out, which is fine. It's okay, we're gonna get Pen 2 meant. Somewhere, Josh Sawyer just had a Happy. headache. He just got a headache from someone screwing up the name. And also, no. maybe got un unreasonably happy from someone having actually remembered the name. Friendly UAV on station. 
I own it. I'm gonna play oh, it. At some point. I've been I've been meaning to share with you, Braden. There's a uh, a video a, a talk Sawyer gave at a university about Pentiment and its influences, and he spends a lot of time talking about fonts. He is very proud of the fonts in that game. Yep. Yeah, that checks out. He should be. I think I think I saw at least one of his talks on that game. Uh, and he also talks about the name of the road. Yeah, that that's a pretty clear influence. I watched a little bit of that movie recently, and then I was like, maybe I should just watch this one. I'm in a better mood to watch it in the right kind of mood to watch it. Enemy suppression might destroy. Loading. Or read the book. Planting Claymore. Friendly UAV online. Stun grenade out. Yeah, Call of Duty. The mission is complete. Hey. All right, I don't need to. I don't need to play this the entire stream. You could though. I could. The, the great thing, see, the great thing about Call of Duty is that it is low commitment and low stress. Yeah. No, I get it. I have played some death matches a lot. I've played a lot of Halo. When they put that death match mode in Siege, I played that more than I expected to. What else would you be playing? Uh, more Conscript or Chaos Legion. Is Chaos Legion one of the action games? Yes, it is. It is a game made by uh, your friends and mine, Capcom. Oh. So one of one of the dumb things they added in this game is um. I, there's a conversion kit, like, using aftermarket 3D-printed gun conversions. Uh-huh. Uh and it's like, what if what if you made the M16, like, a weird, fucked-up, fully automatic nightmare gun? As, as the guy that does all the gun videos for GameSpot uh, done a video on this game yet? I believe he has. I believe just, Jonathan like, Ferguson, just made, just arms like master cry. of the Royal Arms and Armories Royal Museum... Armories. And maybe cried at the, the yeah. abuse these uh, weapons of war have received. I, it's it's one of my favorite things is when. Uh... All right. People just do stupid things to weapons, to yeah. guns. Oh, I had my first death to the fucking snake of all things. Ugh. I'm worthless. I'm sorry. Oh, they, okay. they got us fake boss 12. But they don't want to pay any of the weapons manufacturers. Oh yeah, they also have the Sturmgewehr, forty-four, as part of the battle pass this time. Hooray! But they they made it lame because they made it modern and tactical looking. I want a wood stock. If you're gonna make an STG forty-four, probably make you pay for that.
All right, I killed the snake. Um, but yeah, there's. So so Chaos Legion is fun because um, it feels like it was uh Capcom's backup project if Devil May Cry uh flopped out. Because it came out, I think, around the same time as DMC three. But, and it has a emphasis on like summoning monsters or something. We'll have to look at that, or I'll just keep fighting in the trenches. But yeah, WWK in the chat saying, so is this still just caught? Yes. Congratulations. Uh, the, 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 the TTK in this one is, uh, a little higher than the last one. Which works out for me as, uh, a geriatric. But hey, at least all those times, all that time I spent grinding out these guns wasn't a waste of time. Because now my guns, uh, they they added skins also. Uh, if you want to be a wrestle man or a wrestle lady from the wrestle. Are you? Do you know who Cody Rhodes is? He's a rassle. Uh, there's also a, a uh, buff-looking goth woman, who I believe is also a rassle. Oh, they killed me and a weed leaf came out. Wow, pro gamer moves right there. Just moving like, whoa, blah, blah. Oh, my controller didn't like that. This no, this is this is the little dongle, the the twenty dollar dongle I bought last year. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it gets unhappy, uh, when I press too many buttons at the same time. 
it's otherwise a pretty solid uh, piece of hardware as far as uh, being able to wirelessly connect my PlayStation controller wirelessly without having to use uh, my computer's shitty Bluetooth. Setting Claymore! Tactical stance. Changing mag. Headquarters online. Secure the objective. We're securing the headquarters. Planting Claymore. So what percent of Call of Duty is uh, Warzone? Yes. Uh, I mean, given that apparently this game's single player just reuses Warzone maps... Warzone is still big. Linda, got one. Although, uh, their, their, uh, extraction shooter equivalent, DMZ. Uh, did not do super well. And they stopped, uh, supporting it. Sorry about that. It was very loud over here for a while. Was your neighbor doing a sick drum solo? Combination of that and the dogs coming up from the park and being very upset by the, uh, the noise. As they should be. Time to, time to leave a sternly worded letter with your HOA. Thankfully, we don't have to. Is that guy the crow? I assume not, because I don't think anyone uh, wanted to support that that uh, crow remake. I mean, it could be the original crow. Yeah. Non-zero chance it is. Has that movie actually aged well to be either? Ah! Mostly just well known to the, the the coattails of uh, the the genuinely awful thing that happened during uh, it during its development. Yeah. Oh. I know that Alexander Skarsgård remake of The Crow is apparently dog shit. <laughs> that was me. And I still got the lowest score on my team. 
Yeah. Well, in multiplayer video games, you're now an old man, Braden. No, you're I the just... The audacity of turning, getting past 30. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm still really good at it. It's not Logan's run. He can be, he can be older than 30. Here, why, why do you think I like this one? Because... If I recall correctly, this game's Warzone is also just, um... Also has just zombies in it, I think. They put ads in Warzone? Not like no, you can- no, like, like their zombie mode takes place on the Warzone map. Eh, that sounds too big. I, I don't- zombie map, Listen, if the zombie map isn't knocked there on Totem, I don't want to. I played a ton of zombies in World at War and then did not... I played a little bit of them in Black Ops, but I did not get into any others. Uh, that's because zombies mode isn't very good. It was good in World at War. Yeah, it was it novel. Was, it, was, it was novel and unique. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I was also in high school and the proper yeah. age to stand on a catwalk and fire a thousand rounds downrange. Oh no, goddamn mimic. You always gotta hit it. Oh, I survived somehow. That's you always I... gotta hit it once. I know, Which one is it? Like, it's in the Where you? castle. Where you fight the two big dudes and you fight the uh, chariot guy again. Uh -huh. It's okay, I have spells. And everything else in here is dead. And I survived with like one health. I think my least favorite room in the entire castle is the one just opposite of the end of the game. With all the statues that you have to uh, light up with the solve a dead thing. All the big yeah. spindly dudes. Yeah. I fucking hate that place. Anyway, I'm out of Estes class. Good thing this game has life gems. See, if I wanted to really admit my degeneracy, I'd talk about how much I like using shotguns in COD. You're allowed to. Uh, I really like, uh, I remember really liking the falls at the top of the castle, the looking glass tonight. Uh, Something wrong with him? Throwing grenade. Yeah, we don't see him doing this We're taking Bravo. Despite having played Dark Souls 2 to completion multiple times, um, I think most of the bosses in that game are not very memorable. Oh, there's definitely too many of them. Like, the too many, like, Lords big guy big. with big sword. Okay, here's the problem with in, with Looking Glass Knight. You're probably not going to have to deal with this, because I've only encountered it once. Uh, but people can invade you during yep. the boss fight. I remember that. Oh, it fucking well, sucks ass. Uh, I have put uh, Skull of the First Sin behind the firewall, so I don't have to worry about that. Anyway. We got some pro gamers over here going like, whoa, slide. Got one down. I think that was Rick from The Walking Dead. Sure. Is Rick... Rick's, Rick's not in that anymore. Hasn't he left, like, years ago? Uh, there well, there's a new spinoff with him. I have bad news. Since pre-Rick... There, there's a there's a spin-off, and that was Negan. There's like three different spin-offs. There are 14, there are actually like five different spin-offs. Great. Toss 
Because there's the one, there's the Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. There's one that stars the lady that played Dharma in, in Dharma and Greg. Whatever her name is. Fine, I got Charlie. Requesting recon flyover. Copy. UAV orbiting the AO. Recon is online. Enemy is securing Charlie. Oh, right, that's what he does. Okay, well, another time. I remembered how to one cycle him, but I didn't have the fire sword anymore. Yeah, I would say uh, the one character from Killers, the uh, two that I'm just nine to, uh, Seraphim. Because he's just like, go and cap. Fish, go get him, I'm a pirate. Now, he says furry fun sack too much. I'm a really furry to fun about sack. Well, that's because he's testicles. irreverent. Yeah, it's it's just, a, it's it's too much. He's a salty sea dog. He's got a, he's got a sailor's mouth that would make a sailor uncomfortable. That also doesn't help. He's the one companion that actively hits on you. It's like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Listen, he's he's down for a piratical time. Sorry, Seraphin, I'm I'm busy trying to to ignore Shodi going insane. Well, we're it's fine. To date her. Planting Claymore. She just bursts into my mouth of laughter all the time now. It's okay. She's all <laughs> like, I love my God who harvests the souls. Yeah. Listen, I, I, I and then you're like, no, listen, it, okay, so. here's how, here's how souls work, and she's like, golly, you said a lot of words. Yeah. Yeah, she's great. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go murder those people. Fuck me. I don't know who my final fit is gonna be, because it's for me, it's, it's uh, to. Uh, just remember that based on who you side with at the end uh, will determine. Uh, don't, hey, don't, don't. Yeah. Oh, okay. Spoilers. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You're not talking about companions. You're talking about like the bailing trading, uh, the bailing trading company. Or... Yeah. Like, hey, the factions uh, are at I, I odds with each of, other. Uh, I've not been great to anybody. There's also a uh, neutral route if you uh, want to. If you I, pissed I, everyone off. There's. I, I really didn't want to just get into like a, a savior position here. Um, I, I've been more or less fucking up like the capitalists, but I, I, I have not been entirely good for the Hawana either. I, I just, I, I'm afraid of just turning into like kind of like a white savior story. When uh, Deep Listens played this game, there was actually a discussion, in, a fair bit of discussion in the in the uh, channel about. Uh, how some people were unhappy that you do actually have to pick a side. I mean, there is a there is a neutral option that they added after the fact. Um, I'm okay with being forced to pick sides, though. Um, but also, one of my favorite things about yeah. the beginning of um, I, I keep forgetting the name, uh, Tyranny, in the way that you, you if you try to weasel out and, and and you know not pick a choice between the two factions, the guy's just like, no, fuck you. Which one of us is it going to be? Yeah. You actually make both sides angry if you try to weasel out of it. Yeah. I mean, there there's also a neutral route in that game, too. It's just, uh, fuck you. I, I'm I'm the, the lord now. Oh, no, I, I mean in, in the opening. 
Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm entirely okay with this. It's like, no, listen, you would put yourself into a position of power here. Make a fucking choice. I'm okay with him saying that. Yeah. Like, you want all this power you've you've taken for yourself? Watcher. I mean, yes, you have. Like, you have found yourself in a position of power, but also I would say that at least at Pillars Two, it's kind of forced upon you because they have to pop up. And Sure, but at the end of the day, you're you're making big decisions for that entire place, like you know. Yeah. I will probably. Oh, I don't know. I, I would probably side with Alana. I I think the queen. I think she might be a bad person. Don't don't say other way, but I I get the impression that she's. Well, you think them uh, just uh, them keeping that dragon. Well, to be fair. She didn't know about that. Like, only uh, a few people know wait. about that. Uh, I just, the, uh... I don't know, it's just a feeling. I, she's very, uh, conniving. And while you might say, well, yeah, she's between a rock and a hard place, there's there's just been a, a moment here and there where I just think, like, you might be the evilest person here, but I might still side with them, because... I, I mean, the Royal Deadfire Company is literally like... Hey, uh... They're literally the East India Trading Company. Yeah. But, uh, but, um, as far as the Queen goes, I don't think she's necessarily evil. More like she's made a few decisions that she kind of had to make, if I remember that. Right. Sure. I, I'm probably putting too much into it. I, and I will likely end up siding with her if it's forced to make a choice, but... But yeah, there, there is a neutral option. I'm level 14. And I have yet to go to the Ashen Ma the, the, what is it, the Ashen Maya? I'm assuming I, I probably should have gone to that already. Ah! Uh, uh, a lot more open-ended. Uh, based off of the, uh, You can also, you, you know, turn on level it. scaling in such a way that... No. But don't do that. Uh, I'll, I'll do that if they give me... Because I didn't do that at the end of uh, the first game after doing the White Marches. They're like, hey, you should probably do this. And I remember I beat Theos in one hit. Yeah. So, I'll do that if they give me the option for a last dungeon. Just immediately give them to nothing. Oh, look at this dude with his sick lava skin. And then someone just said L. Oh no, there's text chat. Oh no. I need to turn that off real quick. Can you yeah. do that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I hope you can. I, I, I assume yes, because uh, that's going to go... Poorly? Can we all agree, though, that Principi is just the worst? Yeah, they're, they're the they're the, the Princess of San, San Paterno. This is... Are you telling me that actual pirates maybe weren't good people? Yeah. I like to romanticize all of, the, of history's villains. No, listen, guys. You don't understand. It's it's really it's really cool how the samurais would do literally anything their lord told them, because you know they've given up the choice of agency. Anyway, what if I just put a big fucking uh, barrel on this desert eagle? I'm currently left with a choice right now between uh, the uh, Valiant Trading Company and the Dead Fire Company. Oh, for that quest? Yeah. Poco Kahara or whatever. I think the Valiants suck. Has Cod ever acknowledged Press F to pay respects? I'm sure that's a skin. Yeah. 100%. As soon as those executives saw meme potential, they were like... Uh, I mean, there there's a skin in this game uh, that, acknowledge, that acknowledges uh, the part where they are constantly uh, doing soft upload, like, you know, soft patches, like hot fixes. How do you represent that? Uh, by having a, an animated skin on your... Uh, on your gun says that says, uh, update, 
update in progress, please restart game. Great. Yeah, it's funny, because, uh, that became I'm such laughing. a problem. Throwing grenade. Got the sniper. Hell yeah. Okay, this is the small. This is the obligatory small level. The shipment. Ah, uh, I mean it's closer to like a um, a nuke town. Are you just in a Don't person's like apartment? Don't... Yeah. First person apartment. God damn it! No, you're just in the suburbs. My favorite Call of Duty map. Suburbia. Never watched that. Birds, though. I'm reloading. Took a box of shot. Hostiles, what's alive? When I do go back to Kingmaker, though, I am definitely going to uh, put that on my SSD, though, because these loading times are a little frustrating. Honestly, I would argue. It also has like, it, it's worth like. There's definitely some sort of uh, like memory leak thing for Pillars Two, where it will uh, run worse if you play uh, it for too long. No, just, I mean, there's. I don't think it's that. Uh, both Pillars One and Two have problems with having too many save files loaded. So if you're one of these people who, like me, makes a new save every single time... I make three that. saves. Okay. okay. They're called Primary, Alternate, and Volatile. Oh, okay. Cool. That's what I do in most games. Yeah, I, I am a two-rotating save man. God damn it. Also, just say I like how often they give you the option to say nothing. Close to. Yep. I don't remember them doing it as much in the first one. Sometimes saying nothing is saying something. I, I That's what Telltale has taught me. Of say nothing or shrug, especially with the gods. Because whenever I say anything, they're just like nobody asks me for shit. I I know people don't like those conversations with gods sometimes. I thought they were awesome. Like that image of you standing as a tiny yep. speck. Sure, in front of like all these the. Dudes. The of, of also, the the stuff the they the added after the fact, where uh, you got that book uh, that you can talk with and get some more uh, plot uh -huh. details uh, with uh, Wetika. Yeah. Those are worth talking to, because she's like, I don't regret shit, Sonny. <laughs> I think you. I suck. wanted all the babies to not be born. Progress is bad. Enlightened dictatorship is good. Yeah, she's great. Uh, I, I really hope a vow is good. I I would yeah, like I, it to be good. I, I have like no expectations either way. I get an Outer Worlds ish sense for that. I'm, and I like the Outer Worlds enough to play a vow, but like I don't really. I mean, I it's going to be on Game Pass. Than that. Yeah. And uh, therefore, I, thus, oh. ergo. I mean, I will still be purchasing it, at least in part because I want this franchise to continue, and this is... I get this, is, this might be a last chance for it. I mean, who knows how many Microsoft's games are even... left with that descriptor. What, last chance? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
You ever hear about, yeah. Halo, huh? Uh, hi, uh, Yatsu, welcome to, uh, hey bros. Hey, hey, my, my 420 man's, man skins. Uh, welcome to, uh, my stream. Uh, this is, uh, you can, uh, use the coupon code for these six supplements that'll improve your brain power. Um, and also here's my, uh, my, my mouse. Uh, my officially licensed mouse. Vertical gaming mouse. My vertical gaming mouse. Um. So I bought a vertical mouse recently for work. Uh-huh. How does it make you feel? Uh, it was like, it isn't great. I was using a trackball for a while, and like, it's fine for a bit, then you realize it's slow and inaccurate and makes your thumb hurt. I still just use this Logitech uh, Silent Mouse. It has a left click, a right click, and a scroll. <laughs> and that's it. It's great. I don't like this map. It's too, it's too open. It's a big fucking kill box. You're describing most COD maps? No! I'm describing most modern COD maps. Like, there's a reason why the, the quote-unquote three-lane design works. Because Dust 2 is a really, really good map. That's why. Anyway. Yeah. Alright. Um... Do people want to see Chaos Legion, or do they want to see more, uh, Conscript? Eh, Conscript. Okay. Beat more people to death with, yeah. with your trench shovel. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, look, it's it's that guy from Rassel. Uh, now yes, in sir? Call of Duty. While he's switching games, I need to ask you a question. Where mm -hmm. do I go after I beat the two Dragon Riders, and this Antrish says, Seek Vendrick? Because I thought I was supposed to keep going up the castle. Yeah, you keep going. You keep going through the castle. Okay, because I, I don't know where the up is. Well, I came can... across a bonfire with yeah. uh, an up staircase and a okay. down staircase, and they just circle around each other. Did you find the key that activates the elevator? No. Is it in that room where go. all the ruined symbols are? Oh, did you not find the proper path through that room? I found a path through it and was like, okay, I don't want to fight these ruin signals. Uh, no, I believe the thing you need is, is, uh... Okay. Oh, yeah. I think I know what, uh, mimic you're talking about. Alright, as a DC person... Yes, sir? Um, are you aware of, of their next, their next, uh, their, their big old fun little current event they're doing? No. Absolute absolute super the absolute universe absolute superman batman wonder woman would you like me to describe them to you currently looking at comicbook.com please go ahead and describe okay. why I'm listening to this so uh the absolute universe is a uh, dc's next uh, big event I don't think any of this art I'm seeing looks good at all. What And their idea is, what if we took our three big heroes, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, and then just took out, took away everything that uh, makes them uh, unique? So it's like, what if Superman wasn't raised by loving parents in Kansas? Yeah, I can tell based off of his spiked pauldrons. Yeah. Oh, what if uh... Batman wasn't rich? And just what if Wonder Woman was just tatted? Okay, Wonder Woman actually looks pretty cool. But yeah, I don't like yeah. Her. Well, yeah. Absolute Wonder so Woman is great. she is the last Amazon. So, sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's been done like a dozen times. Yeah, but Woman. now she's edgy. Some mascara has had some hard times. She, she's, she was raised in hell. 
fucking 2003 would like their mood. Hello, back. it's it, the Marvel Ultimate Universe is back. All the DC people right now are watching that Superman anime. I, the person I uh, vaguely pay attention know about comic book stuff. As he I'm hates that show. As I understand, that is basically like um. I don't know what the term for it is, but I know there's a ton of them, so there must be a term for it. But um, it's like the the anime where a girl continually teases the boy. Yeah. From my understanding, that's what that is. Yeah, but it's Lois Lane. Remember in Lois Lane, just just be like a really great reporter that no. he was attracted to while by, by working like largely under her. No. And then eventually became colleagues and equals. No? No. No, I, I, uh... No, what if she instead was, like, got way too close to him to make him flustered and said... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Weird. I, I, she goes, And then pulled out her shirt a bit to show out cleavage, and then he's like, oh, cleavage, uh, and then his nose I'm bleeding. Superman! And so the, no, the, bleed, and... the blood comes out at such a force that it actually kills her, and then yeah. he has to hide her body, and that's a better show. Oh, that anime exists, too. 100%. I thought I bought a new artillery shell. I might have not put it in my inventory, which means I need to run over here to grab the... Anyway, I don't know. Some guys like to be teased. Or otherwise, or rather, I think uh, the appeal of those animes to uh, sad otaku is, um, wouldn't it be great if a girl had active interest in you? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, it would, but I still don't yeah, like, it's been a bit. <laughs> don't tease me, Miss Nagatoro. You can't trick me, anime. I was thinking of, um, what's it, something wants to ha hang out? <laughs> Uzuki-chan wants to hang out? Why, yes, yes I am aware. I know, I know there are people... Listen here, anime fans. Fanimes. I know there are people out there who like them some... Please don't tease me, Miss Nagatoro. Uh... You, you could not get like me... To see children have uh, sexual tension with one another. I get it. I Yeah, well... It's... <laughs> no, no, it's okay. They're, they're one X years old. No no one in anime uh, has has a life after high school. And I get it. I remember... Well, I can remember when, you know, we and on all the guys in the club, uh, we had to, you know, make... do the school festival for our senpai... And, uh, you know, our, our high school club days were the most important days of our lives, and uh, then we won the big competition. No, the next several years were much better for me. What? Saying that high school isn't the end-all be-all. No. I enjoyed, uh, we won a lot of competitions in jazz band. See, the, there like, you go. There's your shonen anime. Yeah, yeah I, I wasn't a big fan about waking up like at five thirty every morning. Gross. To, uh, go to it though. Thirty's not so bad. Yeah, for a teenager. <laughs> Fourteen years old, five thirty was a non-existent time. But yeah, I. I saw I saw the picture of Absolute Batman and it just made me happy it's because uh, comic books are silly. His proportions look wrong. His head is so small. He he's done a lot of HGH, okay? And the one for Superman looks like Oh, uh, what if he was dark and emo? Yeah, like the the shadow work on him is just the It also okay, yeah. 
listen there's there's several decades of of comic books of varying quality from both these places yeah you can uh, experience a lot of that old stuff for new i'd highly recommend the um the what was it the the, the kevin smith did a green arrow one in the early 2000s that entire run is great like, does, does, like does Green Arrow have a very long tangent about Star Wars? No. Like Kevin Smith? Like, like yes, that like Kevin, Kevin Smith. Smith. Dogma Kevin Smith? Yeah. Kevin Smith. Yeah. Clark's Kevin Smith? Yeah. He, yeah, he, he did he, he's some written comic comics book stuff. Yeah. And a lot of his garbage, that one is not. Um, you know, I mean, don't forget that Ta-Nehisi Coates has also, also did like a run of Black Panther and a run of Captain America. The Green Arrow one is... Yeah, it's really good. Alright, what's this weird pronged key? Okay, that doesn't help hey guys, at all. guys, is it worth buying a better ship? I uh, no. Uh, naval battle. So I always... I participated in a naval battle like once, and then I was like, you know what? From now on, I'm gonna board. The, the naval battles are terrible? Yeah, but what if I just wanted more crew members just so I have more buddies? I mean, if you just want to spend money, just spend money, do it. Well, I mean, I'm just sitting on 121000 and I'm about to sell another giant collection of... <laughs> but imagine how many ridiculously powerful magic items you can get. I mean, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Oh, Jesus. I've got a bunch of crap on me I haven't even looked at. Oh, no. Oh, God. How many, the how many rats got me. The, the grinder. Oh, I forgot about that. I haven't been back in a long time. <laughs> God, the first time I saw that, I was like, are you kidding me? No, there's no way this is an actual thing. I've just been using some dog that gives me plus two constitution for a while. Yeah. That's probably all you really need. Uh, exceptional is the highest, right? Or superb? Uh, I believe it is superb. Okay. Or I maybe legendary is the highest, but that's only in like DLC stuff. I am now deleting everything that is not superb. Yeah, just, just sell it. Uh, I mean, aren't there, like, there's there's uh, things you can uh, attach to yourself? Uh, what are they called? The, um... Enchantments? No, the, uh, this might be just be a one thing. The, uh, there's a handful of items that you can bind to a character, and as you use it... Oh, like the talking sword? Powerful. Yeah. Still using that. A good sword. Yeah, the talk the talking sword is fun because you, you get different buffs <laughs> uh, depending on what class you are. Um, and also, uh, she is uh, very sexually into uh, you using her as a sword. I have not encountered any of that. I've talked to her once. I okay. found a mace that I couldn't do anything with, and that she brought up. She was like, "Don't touch that mace," and that's the last time I've heard of her. Okay. Yeah, you can talk to her. She. She's really into uh, the fact that you use her for murder. Great. What was the name of the What's the name of the singing sword in uh, Baldur's Gate Two? Justin uh, would, would probably. Presimir. Well, I, I I forgot. I don't know. I didn't use it. Well, you don't like the part where it's like an intentionally irritating. I, I did not use it. Maybe I will use it eventually. I should replay all those games at some point. They're very good. I like them a lot. Yeah, what if I just crushed this cat to death and then fed her into another animal? Yeah, the Critter Cleaver. Big fan. God, I cannot believe that thing is actually in the game. Rats, rats, rats.
Yeah, I think I'm just going to buy the biggest ship because uh, I haven't even gotten through a quarter of the stuff I'm going to sell, and I have another 50,000 okay. <laughs> coming in. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah. There's it's... much like the first game, money is uh... not a problem. Although, get a uh, junker. You know, all of the super expensive stuff is. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm playing on normal. I'm not going to need it. Yeah. I also think that game got easy at some point. Like, it's not very hard, at least from what I remember. The DLC fixes that. Don't worry. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, yeah. And, but, yeah, Forgotten Sanctum is literally. Like, that DLC only shows up right before the point of no return. Uh, I can go to it now. Yeah, but you can't do the quest yet there. Uh, I have the quest. It's it, They just give it to you, basically, as soon as you get your ship the first time. That, that might have been changed since you last played it. I last played it, like... It does a bit of that, like, oh, you've started the game, here's a bunch of stuff you shouldn't do. Like, we're marking it as being way above your level. No, you, you can go there, but, the yeah, the quest doesn't start until out right before the end of the game. And it, it uh, brings back everyone's favorite, um... Durance? No. No, it brings back everyone's favorite theme, uh, bickering archmages. Yeah, I robbed Archimere really good. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Yeah, he fucking sucks. Alright, I'm gonna get some dinner. See you later. Alright, see ya. Alright, see you later. What time is it? How do you feel about Conscript thus far? I think it's good. Maybe not Signalis good. But... I think expecting anything to be Signalis good is, I think, a little much. Uh, you're telling me one of the best uh, horror games of the last ten years might be hard to compare to? Yeah. Alright, what's in here? What did I get for blowing this up? Okay, cool. I'm gonna die. These rats are gonna kill me. This is what I get for not burning bodies, Justin! All the rats? Yep. Instead of crimson heads, it's rats! All right, well, that seems like the least useful artillery to...
Now I know why I was stuck. I have to go kite some enemies into a specific room oh. in this castle. Okay. That's dumb. I remember getting stuck here last time and I had to look it up. And then I remember thinking, that's a really bad way of forcing you to progress. Um, there is a, uh, there's like two points in this game. This is the second point in this game where I think progression is maybe a little too vague. But it's a from self game, so whatever. All right, now I just need to not get eaten by rats, Justin. That's a good that's a good thing. That's a good goal to have in life. Yeah. I recommend it. It doesn't it, it, um, if you're if you're a dishonored NPC, it's in fact very important. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, this game totally has Resident Evil 4 style uh, treasure combining, huh? That's what this necklace is for. I already sold the gem inside of it. Anyway. He had shell shock, it's fine. All right, I'm going to assume that maybe the fort is where I'm going to go. How's your soup, Yatsu? Yatsu, how's the soup? What kind of soup was it? Was it uh, like a nice taco soup? Uh, chicken noodle soup, French onion soup. What's your favorite kind of soup? Uh, I like I like a good French onion soup. I like a good uh, chicken noodle, or like a chicken dumpling. Um, my mom to... makes a pretty good tortellini oh. soup. How difficult is it to make your own chicken noodle soup? Not that hard. Um, which is great. Uh, like you can you can literally just take one of those uh chicken like rotisserie chickens you get from a from a Costco or a Sam's Club, mm -hmm. and um. How do you make? Do you make that? Make a, a, a chicken stock or broth or whatever. Yeah. And just, you do that by just like putting it in a crock pot and you, then pouring you, a bunch of water in it. Yeah, it literally just put it in a pot on the stove and um, just, yeah, just like slow simmer and you eventually make chicken stock.
And then I, from there, like, I'm gonna, what do you do? Just take chicken and noodles and mix it up and cook it? Or? Yeah. You know, it's also pretty easy to make, like, half-decent egg noodles. Master says he made an instant ramen soup thing because he's tired. Yeah, that's fair. Totally understand. Uh, life is tiring. Sometimes yeah. you just want ramen. Sometimes it doesn't matter. You just need to get something down your throat.
Okay, yeah, that's a... Uh, it's mustard gas over there. Yep. There goes the looking glass knight. This game spooky or spoopy? Uh, I'd say this game has a good sense of uh. It's a sense. Of, is it like a sense of dread or so? Yeah, like I, I'm surprised there's been nothing supernatural because that's what I was half expecting. But it also seems like, at least for these these early hours, no, they're just German soldiers. You're just in a, a trench that's been overrun. Uh, spoopy is what the kids say, uh, spooky. I think. I thought, yeah, I thought spooky was just scary. In, like, 2015. Yeah. I don't think kids are saying spooky. No, kids are too busy, uh... Talking about... Eating toilets. their Mr. Beast candy bars, and... I have, in fact, uh... I've... I've played... I, I've eaten the Mr. Beast candy bar. Justin. Oh. It's not and? very good. Yeah, probably not. It's it's like a parody of what it's a parody of milk chocolate. And mm. that it's just like overwhelmingly sweet. Just like way too much sugar in it but it's not like fun it's not like a good uh creamy milk chocolate sort of thing there there there's my uh verdict on on the the mr beast chocolate bar thank you oh I see why there's a fire. Um, I don't have anything that, that... That seems like a problem to have in a trench. Yeah. So, Relkin, uh, you know, I, I do not personally know a Jimmy Beast man, as he is known. Uh, Jimothy the Beast. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jim, Jimmy to his, his fans. Um... But uh, it he 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 seems like a guy who's who's just kind of like a a weird dude who spends a lot, a lot of time. Of money, and sometimes he helps people, and sometimes yeah. He stupid shit but specifically, hand. like he spends a lot of time uh, agonizing over the algorithm and like <laughs> thumbnails. I mean that's that's how he that's how he has all yeah. that money to spend on people. Anyway, okay. I well, that's it. mustard gas. Uh, that's mustard gas. Anyway, I made it to the Shrine of Amana. It's time to quit out of Dark Souls 2. And do it's this time to quit out of Dark Souls 2. Uh, For the worst level in Dark Souls 2. I don't remember. I, I've i played through Shrine of Amana a couple times. I never remember having a big problem with it. Have if Have you patient, played it in... um? Yes, Skull of the First Sin. Skull of the First Sin, where they made it worse? Here. If you're patient and you use a crossbow to pull things to you, you'll be fine. Okay, that's the accent. Out of battery for my f my fun little light. I wonder if I just have to power through the gas. No, no, there's another door I haven't been through.
Okay, the sunken DLC is the area past the rotten, I'm told. Uh. Okay, yeah. I know where that is. I don't want to do that yet. Are you telling me I have to go back to Black Gulch at some point? I mean, not really, because you can just warp to the boss bonfire. You, I don't think you can warp to primal bonfires, can you? Okay, well, you can warp to the bonfire before the boss. There's and... a, okay, so, yeah, there's a bon, there's actually a bonfire right before that boss, but it's really hidden. Uh, like. Yeah, but I know where it is. Edges, yeah, if you look over one of the edges and you happen to have a fragrant branch of your, there's a tiny little thing you can walk on and right past it is a, is a bonfire. And the exit is right next to a boss. They tried to ambush me. Also, the rotten, absurdly easy boss. Yeah. As long as you don't step in the fire, you're good. Anyway, I'm gonna dip out. Anyway, this I'm just gonna pour uh, fuel on this dying man. That seems like a... Hey, man... At least he won't be dying for too much longer. Anyway. Alright, see ya. Oh no. Hey, hey, bud, can I have your mask? Well, he, he's going to be less than conscious after this. Fine, we have a gas mask now. The, the honeybee in the sequence is great. Have fun.
Hello there. Hello. Welcome to... Welcome to the war. To war? Okay. This yeah. is, is this World War One or World War Two? I forget. World War One. It's in the trenches. There's poison gas. Ah, the mustard gas. I once saw that movie, what was it called? All Quiet Wet on the Western Front, which is yeah. based off the novel. Yep. All Quiet on the Western Front. Yeah, I've heard of it. I, I read the book. I imagine the book is probably uh, better yeah. paced than the movie. Yeah. Is it the more recent movie? Uh, no, the the one I saw was the, the older old. one. Mm -hmm. Not the one that came out on Netflix like two years ago. No, I wouldn't bother watching a new version of All Quiet on the Western Front. I already know what happens. It's just, oh, it's, oh, great, misery, great. I, I yeah. love it. Uh, yeah, it turns out it traumatized an entire generation of people. Yeah. It almost like it leads to something way worse that happens a few, yeah. a few years later. Whew, yeah. Uh, I gotta go back to this to get my inventory. So this is more like a Resident Evil clone than anything else? Yeah, this is this is definitely a, a top-down Resident Evil. Like, it straight up has uh, <clears throat> items that you can sell, like it was a... Uh, Resident Evil 4. So is there just like a shopkeeper? Yeah, there's a shopkeeper. That's a little odd for uh, this he, scenario, He seems but sure. like a weird guy. Does he do the whole, like, oh, what are you buying thing? Or, I, don't I know. mean, there I is an achievement. Right. Oh, it's where you see him and he says, what are you buying? There, There's an achievement, there's achievement. called, what are you buying? Yeah. I feel like that's probably just entrenched in culture now thanks to well i mean resident evil 4 and then the the viral video that mega 64 did and then all that other shit yeah don't think about how that video is like 20 years old i'm pretty sure it's older than that because uh resident evil no it isn't because resident evil 4 isn't 20 years old yet oh shit there's still time It still can't drink in the United States, but it could, might be able to drink in Canada. Anyway, what if I gave him this sick uh, antique flask for 70 cigarettes? Sure. Are cigarettes the currency here? Absolutely. So it's just like prison. Great. Yeah. How would you even smoke 70 cigarettes? I mean, I've never really smoked, so I, maybe, maybe I'm... Just underestimating the smoker's lung, but you know, I feel like smoking seventy cigarettes is a lot. I mean, you were you were inhaling mustard gas. A cigarette's not going to be the biggest problem. That's true. You're you're not wrong there. Um, mm. I suppose there are worse habits to have in World War One. Do I have any batteries? Yeah, there are actually not many games set in World War One, are there? No, because uh, it's hard to make an exciting game out of uh, drowning in the Rich mud. Warfare. Yeah. yeah. Just you know, two two groups of people constantly running at each other every day, and then just a bunch getting of them mowed dying. down. Mowed down, yeah. It amazes me to think that, like, people thought that was a good idea back then. It's like, yeah, we'll just send our young men out. You so, know, I mean... To the trenches, and then, um... I, part of that was just, um... Basically, uh... W they hadn't figured out how war works yet. Because at the beginning of the war, they were still using, like, Napoleonic cavalry charges and shit. Um, and then it turns out yeah. uh, the Maxim gun 
uh, the a stationary machine gun. Because uh, they don't, you don't really have uh, mobile machine guns yet. Yeah, I imagine those uh, could, uh, for lack of a better term, take down a lot of people. Yeah, and it's like tanks and. Um, yeah, those aren't really a, a factor. Those yet, aren't right? really a factor. Like they come in late in the war. And. Yeah. So instead, we have chemical weapons. Yeah. 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 Uh, so instead, we have chemical World weapons. One that. Uh, that annoys me so much is just like so canada was just like yeah you know we're gonna send our people there because you know british yeah colony and all that okay and just like the big the big thing that you'll they'll teach you in the history books here in canada is just like yeah we sent uh a bunch of young men with like improper gear that they bought from like a canadian company and just like even the people that made it back Ended up with a trench foot and mostly died from that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like, great. It's an entire war of that. Okay, there was nothing up there except a crystal. It is one of those things that kind of makes me. Uh, I mean, not the current Trudeau, but the uh, the previous Trudeau was just yeah. Like, yeah, you know, we're our own fucking country now. Fuck you. I'm happy he did that. That's, that's I, a good. I would recommend it. Good. Being part of the Commonwealth doesn't seem like a great deal. No, especially not right now. They can't even win the Euro Cup, am I right? Remember, remember when uh, the U.S. beat uh, Pakistan at cricket? <laughs> Wait, that happened? Yeah. Oh God, did that they happened like, last month? Um. Oh. Pakistan's just in shambles. Uh, it's okay. Uh, the U.S. then immediately, like, got wasted by India. I mean, of course. Like, India basically lives and breathes that shit. Yeah. So. Uh, I have seen, um, people, uh, Indians, because uh, there's a lot of Indian immigrants here. Because, yeah. Because it's and, a Commonwealth country, you and, can immigrate here super yeah. easily, right? Just, they straight up go to the parks and play cricket. And they're Hell there yeah. like, How do you guys have patience for this? This game goes on forever. I, I mean, maybe it's T20 cricket. Maybe it's... maybe it it's, the... it's longer than baseball. Yeah, they baseball is already too to long. The game. That, that's my feeling. Is baseball is already too long. Yeah, I, I agree. I actually don't mind if I'm going to a baseball game in person because, you know, then I get to do things like drink. Uh... At a stadium, which is loud, you know, like it's like yeah. it's almost encouraged, really. But yeah. if I'm watching it on television. I just can't be bothered. No, I I understand the appeal of baseball as a place to just sit and get drunk and not pay that much attention because the action unfolds so slowly. But a as as an American, as as a member as a land of the free. Um, mm -hmm. I, I would recommend. Um, yeah, America wins ev has won every World Series. I don't know if you know. Yeah, but they're it's very true. good at winning the baseball World Series. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Canada's won a couple of them, but you know. All right, I don't have anything yet that will help me with the part where um I think Toronto technically won 3 uh, championships, 2 in real in reality and 1 because of the lockout. So they won by default. Do you know how the the what is it the blue jays yep one of two canadian uh, baseball teams that existed 
the other one no longer existing, the Montreal Expos? I mean, yeah, it's, baseball's an Anglo-Saxon sport. Despicable. Yeah, they're like, oh, this isn't... This is isn't hockey? I mean, let's be honest. Uh, actually, no, never mind. The Canadians still have won more championships than the Leafs, so there's that. Is it sad that the Leafs have, I think they have the second most NHL championships and they haven't won in like... Yeah, it's great. I know this because of forever now, because yeah, of that like Mike Myers 80 movie. Yeah, years. Because, because of the love the guru. 60s. Yeah. And uh, that's, the that's where, like, ruined good me. Good players get recruited to the Leafs. They're like, oh, no, please. I don't want the curse. Yeah. If it's one thing I've learned, though, in the past 20 years, or let's say even 30 years, <clears throat> it's that uh, Quebec can't have nice things. No. They're not allowed. Instead, Montreal is just filled with a bunch of uh, drunken... Let's say college kids. Game developers. Or people. Oh, yeah, there's game, the game developers, the drunken college kids, and the people going there for their bachelor slash bachelorette parties. Oh, no. Yeah. Montreal is like the hot destination in, Why? in Canada for the Does Toronto. Does it have it's like, like oh, a good alcohol go scene? Montreal. Um, so Montreal is known for its strip clubs. Okay. Of uh, both, well, I'm gonna say all varieties. I'm not sure if there's okay. a third variety other than like the male one and the female one. I'm sure there's a third one. Why not? Maybe there's one that's just all of the above. I need to figure out how to get over here. Is digging not an option? No, I have to go through Depot B. Oh, Depot B. What do you think they keep in Depot B? Um, hard tack that's been ruined by moisture. Mm, yeah, that checks out. At least the map seems pretty good. Yeah. This ain't gonna be a speed run, that's for sure. What would a speed run of this type of game even be like just to uh, avoid all the enemies i mean yeah at the end. i've played enough resident evil games yeah i mean uh to be fair like the resident evil games sort of forced you to do speed running in order to get some of the secrets originally right? yeah so just apply those principles to uh to this, to this. yeah it's like a lot of it's just map knowledge I mean, I was once, you know, stuck in Portugal with nowhere to go as a child with nothing but a Resident Evil 2 cartridge on the N64. I know how to Hell speak. yeah. It's yeah. Like, let's unlock Tofu. And I, by golly, I did it. And I I, said, I have, un yeah, I've unlocked uh, Hunk legitimately. I've, I, I've never unlocked Tofu in the... Oh yeah, there's a speedrun trophy for this game, by the way. So I did, in fact, lock, unlock Tofu, but it was basically just I had like an entire month where it was just like, OK, oh, I, okay. I have no car. My parents are here doing their own thing. They're basically just telling me to fuck off. It's like, OK, okay. I guess I'll just 
Like this. So A had the king. Let's see. A, B, D, C. So. That's a great password, by the way. A, yeah. A had the king. What did B have? B had the metal. C had the sword. And eh, we'll figure it out. We'll brute force it. leaves at 11, so they're probably just going to start boarding maybe in the next 30 minutes. So, what is it? It's soldier, then it's, yep, yep, um... Metal. Flying sword? Ugh, I'm going to have to actually backtrack and look at these things and... You could always, uh, look it up. No, I can't, because it's this game's too early out. Oh, there's no like. Oh, text I'm sure dump there is. Game facts. All right, let's let's look. You know, there's some sicko out there who beat this game immediately and just wrote it all. Oh, uh, it's all YouTube no. shit. Oh, YouTube shit! I hate. That I crap. hate watching puzzle. Okay. Okay. Nope, it's semi randomized. Oh. Great. Going, boys? So I actually oh, okay. do need to check each room. Hello, Harley. Yeah. Better pull out the notepad. Oh, you're playing Conscript? Yeah. It says you're playing Call of Duty in the Discord chat. Yeah, I was. Um, that never updates quickly enough. It also, like, stopped automatically deleting the posts, which I yep. think is funny. Specifically when, like, one of you gets, like, technical issues, and it just spams the chat for yep. <laughs> five minutes. Oh, yeah. Uh... Why is okay, Crusader cool. Rats, on rats, 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 rats. Ah. Who authorized this? Alright. Who authorized rats? 
Who authorized Crusader King Street to be uninstalled? Uh, is it your computer? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's either you or ghosts. All right, so soldier is an A. The lion head mm -hmm. is in B. Look at this. It's making you solve a logic puzzle. Yeah. The metal is in C, so the sword is in D. Also, how are these rats not uh, dying in the mustard gas? No different. Oh. Yeah. These some New York City rats. Those rats get pretty big, from what I understand. I I mean I we we are all rats. aware of Pizza Rat, the the beloved hero of New York. I mean, someone had to be the hero of New York. That's Spider-Man. How dare you? Are you sure it's not Pizza oh, actually, Rat? Actually, no, hold up. No one, New York does not need more heroes. Like, 90% of heroes operate in New York. New York has a hero for every other block. Like, it's not even a hero per neighborhood anymore. It's literally a hero per fucking street corner. I mean, yes, in the Marvel Universe. Unfortunately, we live in reality. Ugh. So Pizza Rat is all you get. I need to break it to you. I'm sure he does good. Yeah, he does He does very well. I mean, Pizza Rat seems uh, more effective than Eric Adams. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> hey oh, am I right? My New York is... Did His know... accent is something else. Did you know that the New York Police Department has headquarters in other countries? Yeah, that checks out. That that does not surprise me necessarily. I mean, they are a major port, so it wouldn't be that surprising. Are we counting Metropolis and Gotham as New York? Ah, uh, no, absolutely. Well, not. listen, well, Metropolis, Metropolis is New York. Gotham is, uh, New Jersey. I always just thought Gotham was, like, Pittsburgh or something. Yeah. I mean, that's where, uh, they filmed the, the Nolan Batman films. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I do really like it in the third Nolan Batman film where they just gave up on continuity and they were just like, yeah, it's, it's, uh, daytime now and now it's night. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's Batman. Yeah, it's Batman. I saw Oppenheimer the other day. That's I right. I think that's totally fine. I thought it was very good. I know. I'm, I'm really... Uh... You're really pushing the envelope yeah, here. Yeah, pushing the envelope here of... of oh, hi. This nominated film might be good. Andre, we're going to retake this fort again. This time we are keeping it. I'll see you at the end, my friend. Private, how did you make it here? I shot everyone from the 55th was dead. No matter, you're here now, son. We are gearing up to retake this fort. Was that your brother? Like I said, I thought we lost everyone from the 55th. He may have been transported to Verdun, but I can't say this for sure. Regardless, we need you here right now. We're taking back with us. Get your gear together and meet us at the front. All right. I mean, I guess Gotham could be Chicago, but I feel like Gotham isn't Midwesty enough. Yeah. Like, don't they have like ports? Yeah. Anyway, I give Gaston another cigarette. I feel like Gotham, like a Batman's, always constantly at the docks, and you can't really have that in Chicago. Uh, I guess you could in like Lake Michigan, but if you why? if you look at maps. Anytime Gotham shows up on a map in the DC comic universe, it's in New Jersey. Yeah, I know Chicago has a port, but it's it's a port of Lake Michigan, so it's really just transporting goods between like Detroit, well, Michigan and Illinois, and I guess sometimes Wisconsin. 
Got to transport that cheese somehow, I suppose. So it's in New Jersey, but is actually supposed to be New York. See, I always just assumed that Bloodhaven was New Jersey. Because, you know, every time they show Bloodhaven, it's just always on fire and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like New Jersey. I mean, to be fair, in certain runs, it's been Bloodhaven don't even exist anymore. It got nuked. See, this is why I stopped reading comic books. It definitely wasn't for the fact that they're six dollars each and uh, that's ludicrous to spend every week. What's DC's Boston? Uh... Dog, this is crazy. Uh, Co-creator and original artist of Superman, Joe Schuster, modeled the Metropolis skyline after Toronto. Metropolis is Canada. Okay. Take that, sucker. I mean, he it's, was Canadian. Oh, wait, also, no, was he Canadian? Well, one yeah, of them Joe was the Canadian. Joe, Joe Schuster was a uh, Canadian. Uh... It's also greatly influenced by New York City. So they're both New York City, but one is Canadian New York City and the other is New Jersey New York City. For the record, Toronto is more than Canadian New York City. Toronto is its own little... No, I mean Metropolis is. Oh, okay, fair enough. Metropolis is Canadian New York City. What's, yeah. Um, I couldn't tell you what DC's Boston is. I assume it's just... Uh, Let's just assume Star City, because you gotta put it somewhere. At a certain point, they're just making names up, right? They're like, oh, there's Star City, and then there's Coast City, and then West City. And yeah, then you know. Bloodhaven, because that's what someone would name a fucking city. Uh... Yeah, it's the 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 haven of the the hero with the greatest ass in all of the many universes, Dick Grayson. That's canonical. So you're not gonna fucking believe this, boom the alien. Uh, but the Boston DC's Boston is just Boston, Massachusetts, and it also used to be Wonder Woman's home base. Those lazy motherfuckers. Wonder Woman is a Bostonian. Did she have a Boston accent? I mean, it's a comic book. She should have a Boston accent. She should <laughs> be she like, like, I'm a, I'm an Amazon. Also, Aquaman owns I've lived here too long, and now I'm talking about... I, I'm from Thymascara. I'll break their fucking legs. Also, Aquaman owns a house in Boston. Of course he would. Yeah. Well, me and the girls... We went out to get some donkeys, and then I fought crime. I don't know why Boston gets ripped on for having Dunkins a lot. There is literally a Dunkins Donut every fucking, like, four blocks in Connecticut. Wonder Woman is a Massachusetts liberal? <sighs> Wonder Woman mean? is a Massachusetts liberal. Oh, no. Is that, like, a specific thing? Wonder Woman has, uh, yeah, Wonder Woman's uh, voted for Elizabeth Warren. I'm sorry. Oh, great. I mean, that's fine. I think my va my favorite uh, portrayal of Wonder Woman is the Super Friends version, not because of anything she does, but just because, for whatever reason, Dark Seed or, or Dark Side or whatever the fuck you call him, is just obsessed with her, and he's just like, yeah, I really want to date Wonder Woman. I mean, But fair. she ignores me. Yeah. Harley, are you aware of uh, their new... Uh, DC's new fun little thingamabob they're doing, their their new gimmick for this year. What's Absolute Superman. No. What's Brought to you by Absolute Vodka. Absolute Superman. What is this? Uh, so this is... Oh, it's... I've seen the... I've seen Absolute Batman. Yeah, you have. That guy is fucking, uh, one, huge, and two, stupid. <laughs> oh, so he's big, dummy, thick, is what you're saying. 
No, I mean like his design is stupid. Uh, oh. so basically, absolute bat, absolute Batman is what if Batman wasn't rich? Sure. Doesn't that just make him a dude? Y yeah. Well, I mean, he's still fucking uh, big for Batman. no reason. Uh, like, and then uh, uh voice look at voice text Yatsu. What the fuck? That is not what I copy and pasted. Yo, go away. Fuck. I just saw disclaimish. Yeah, that's I'm copy and pasting a fucking picture, and it's giving me random nonsense. This is absolute Batman. Yeah, he's 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 done a lot of HGH. He's big for no reason. Oh, uh, he's big because he doesn't big. have a cool suit. He just has a regular... My guy's out here in hockey pads. And, uh, of course, Alfred in this universe is, like, punished snake. He's got sure. an eye patch. Uh, I mean, Wonder Woman's got tattoos. Yeah, Wonder I Woman? Kinda, I she's the last look, Amazon. Actually. I kind of dig this look, actually. And she's basically uh, I mean, just, Guts from that's Berserk. Just Wonder Woman with tattoos. So, also, you know. like a weird... She's got, like, a weird pauldron situation going on on her right arm. And frankly speaking, I love an asymmetrical armor deal. That's, like... I mean, it could look cool, but it sure probably isn't very functional. It's just like, oh, look, we're aiming for her right arm. Oh, really? I should have armored that or something. Weird. Or sorry, yeah, it's on her left arm. And here's uh, here's Absolute Superman. Oh, they have him working in the cornfields. Great. Yeah, Absolute but, Superman, um... Dog, cornfields are not that short. That is very clear. Maybe he's just super tall. <laughs> that is... Uh, uh, the tweet is, No fortress, no family, no home. Get ready for a daring new vision of the last son of Krypton. Yep, daring new vision. Great. No family. Okay, so why is he a good person? Because that's he's not. Average. He's an edgy anti-hero. Is he? Great. Oh, cool. Yeah, you know people loved that weird, like angsty Zack Snyder version of Superman. Uh, yeah, they did. Then and, and all the the weird Jesus metaphors. Yeah. I guess the real, uh, the... I don't know if I can make this joke on Twitch. Yeah, maybe don't. If it's, uh, something... Well, hold... No, no, no. WWK, Goku had a parent for, like, 12 years. Yeah, he had... Years. He was raised by Gohan. He was yeah. raised by... And then he, Gohan. uh, killed him by accident. And then he was raised by, uh... Bulma. Roshi, more or less. Yeah, Bulma and Roshi, actually. What a weird time. What a weird... You think they ever sit down as, like, a... When Bulma's, like, a proper adult and realize that they fucking, like, are low-key raising a kid together? Who? Bulma and Roshi. Oh. Eh. Uh, because, like... Because, like... The problem with that is that it would insinuate that they're able to sit down without Roshi trying to molest her in some way. So... Like, I bet if he could stop himself from being an absolute creep, then sure, but otherwise, probably not. I mean, of all the female characters in the show, Bulma is the one that is the most, like... Uh, 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 uh... Capable? Un unfazed by Roshi being a pervert. Yeah, because she's had to deal with it since she was 14. Yeah. Wasn't she 16? I think that's the English version. They changed the ages a bit to no. make it seem less creepy. Well. Hey, See, you know. I'm just, I'm just sitting here thinking about the fact that Bulma, I guess in the English version, was 16 and Goku was 12, which means that for a solid four years, uh, uh, she, like, was just in that like weird uh uh big sister but also kind of his mom position yep yep so i have a but question also, 
Yeah. But also, by the time he was 14, he was strong enough to blow up planet. So, like, it's like, how are you supposed to instill good morals into this fucking... I mean... Monkey child. It's... Turns out you just feed him. Yeah, it turns out you just, uh, convince him to, uh... You convince him to really love martial arts by kicking his ass in the tournament. But only just barely. <laughs> Oh, so like an actual like counteroffensive is happening yep. here, huh? Crazy. Why are you the only motherfucker in this trench? It's fine. Where are the other people who should be fighting in this trench with you? Why uh, are they're you, all dead. Why are you fighting the entire German army? Uh, because I'm a super soldier. You're Captain France. Yeah. Sorry, Capitan France. But I, uh, I was gonna ask: Is this absolute, uh, like DC Heroes series, being received well or about as well as, let's say, that New Warriors reboot they tried to do? I I get the impression perhaps um, people are uh, just goofing on it. I was gonna say: Is it actually even coming out yet, or are we just seeing like? You're Jesus just seeing stuff? promo stuff for it. I mean, Elseworld stuff is always interesting, so long as it's well written. I don't really care what you do. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. And now that I think about it, I don't think that new Warriors thing ever actually came out. It's fine. Yeah. That one seemed like... Just tone deaf to everybody. Alright, I'm going to eat food. Because I've been streaming for two and a half hours. An excellent choice. You enjoy your meal, sir. I'm going. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess. I guess you could watch this Degrelkin fellow. Yeah, Degrelkin's playing Ark the Lad too. Yeah, yeah he, he is. Always, always, always playing Ark the Lad too. Nothing but Ark the Lad. Yeah, too. nothing but Ark the Lad too. Forever. Yep. Yeah. The top Ark the Lad two streamer of all time. DG Rocket. One day Twitch support will get back to him. Uh, sure. <laughs>